All right, Wayne on the road here with the great Bill O'Reilly, the king of cable news for 16 consecutive years. How cool is that? And you can now find him at BillOReilly.com, the no spin zone. Hey, Bill, welcome to the show. How are you? Good, Wayne. Thanks for having me back. So let's start with uh, John McCain. Hard not to stop uh, to start with John McCain. He passed away over the weekend, a great uh, hero, uh, great military background. Him and Trump obviously despised each other. And uh, I think to the very bitter end, John McCain's taking shots at Donald Trump, and Trump is uh, not being especially nice to the legacy of John McCain. What do you make of it all? Well, I have a message of the day on BillOReilly.com that gives you the root of it all. And then tonight on uh, the No Spin News on BillOReilly.com, we're going to run my interview with Donald Trump where I confronted him about his comments on Senator McCain's war record. It's a fascinating interview. I hadn't seen it uh, in almost two years, and uh, it really gets to the heart of the matter. So both men um, were resentful of the other. Um, I see uh, McCain as having the stronger argument there. I don't think Donald Trump should have disparaged his uh, war experience, which was excruciatingly painful for him. And uh, John McCain was a hero. I, and then it would have been better had McCain let it go and not, you know, taken it out on Trump once he decided to run for president. So I think both men are a little bit at fault here, but I think Donald Trump started it. And it hasn't even ended past the grave, unfortunately, as the uh, White House uh, put the flag up full staff today, which, you know, I just thought it was another unforced error. What's the, why not just leave it at half staff? Yeah, and you know how much I love President Trump, think he's great, but I agree with you. There's no reason to do that. No reason at all. No. Call McCain a hero. Um, let's talk for a minute about uh, NAFTA. This just happened literally, uh, you know, an hour before our interview, Donald Trump announced President Trump announced that uh, uh, NAFTA is terminated and that we have a new trade agreement with Mexico. What are your thoughts? Well, it's good, um, and it helps Donald Trump immeasurably because he ran on that he's going to make better deals for the country. Um, you know, I can't make really heads or tails out of the details because I don't know enough about trucks and cars and tariff. I just don't know about it. But the stock market is up uh, substantially, so that means that the mm -hmm. corporations like it. Um, it's good that we're dealing with Mexico. They got a new government. They take uh, power on December 1st. This was made under the old governor, President Nieto. Um, but it's good. It's a, it's a, you know, anything that can help calm things down and have better relations with Mexico and Canada, and you would assume Canada would come in and, and be part of this deal, uh, is good for the USA. And, and good timing for Trump, right, with Manafort and Michael Cohn and, and his fighting back and forth with McCain, who dies over the weekend. He looks a little petty, and all of a sudden, he pulls off this. Pretty good, right? Well, it's good for Donald Trump. I mean, he's going to have to run on the economy and that he's a fixer um, and that all Americans are going to have better lives because of the deals that he makes. That's what he's got. So is that powerful enough to override the hate Trump forces that want to toss him out of office? <laughs> we don't know yet, but certainly NAFTA helps him, no doubt about it. All right. You said uh, uh, what he's got. Does he have immunity? That's the million dollar question. What's the deal with Trump and immunity and, and pardons? And where is this all going to lead with all these uh, legal problems for Donald Trump? Uh, I mean, it's speculation, but I don't see the hate Trump forces stopping. I don't see that. So that he has to use the powers of the presidency to protect himself as best he can. Um, because if he would ever resign, which he'll never do, you know, they, he wouldn't have protections against the people that want to put him in prison or whatever they want to do to him. Um, at this point, I don't think a Manafort pardon would be a good idea. The guy is a tax cheat to the tune of tens of millions of dollars. You know, Bill Clinton, you'll remember, pardoned Mark Rich, the worst tax cheat mm -hmm. in history. Um, media didn't care. That was done on the last day of, of Clinton's uh, tenure in office. Uh, it was a horrible thing. I killed Clinton for doing it. Um, I don't think tax cheats should be pardoned. So I hope he doesn't do that with Manafort. As far as the Cohen thing is concerned, I think we've heard the worst that Cohen has. 
I think that probably will subside somewhat. But, you know, whatever's out there is going to be dredged up. There's no doubt about it. All right. Always great to hear from Bill O'Reilly. Always uh, with us to talk about the hottest topics in America uh, on Mondays and Wednesdays. And we always love to hear what you have to say. Brilliant mind. Uh, Bill Thank O'Reilly, you, thanks I for coming on. I appreciate it, Wayne. Thanks again. All right. You can find his thoughts at BillOReilly.com. No spin zone. The great Bill O'Reilly, the king of cable news, 16 straight years. Great to have him on the show.